Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be using a 3D temporary tattoo inside of a resin frog. And I get these from Amazon. They have the most amazing designs, colors, characters. There's just so many different options. Um, and I'll be adding these links, my affiliate links, in the description below. But you just simply cut it out in the shape that you want. So you can, because you can't see it right now once you lay it down. So it helps give you your placement. And then once you get it in place, you just simply take some water and I just have some water on this paper towel to soak the back of it and it'll just release and come right off and the 3d effects that they have on these tattoos is just amazing I had a thin layer of resin already cured um, that I had poured the night before so that was my base layer and then once this is done I'm going to pour my next layer which is just a colored pink. I know the last frog I did was pink as well. I do lots of different colors and I'll be posting those at the end of the video. If you're curious how I embedded the eyes, I have that at the end of the video as well. All right, here we go. Man, I hope this one turned out. The last one I put a blue butterfly in on him, her, whatever. Still a little soft. But then I had put some holographic. Um, hey, it's not paper, but you know, the holographic and it, it was the same color as the butterfly and it just disappeared in it so I'm super excited about this I hope it turned out I should probably wait a little longer because it's still soft but I ah it worked it worked you guys look at that oh, so pretty I don't want to lose my toes I gotta be careful I hope the eyes didn't get weird. I did the eyes sideways on this one, so let's see how that turned out. Come on. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, I think the next one I'm going to do Wow. I'm going to use white on the back. Stupid flare. Look at that. So see if you put this down, it shows up much better on the white. So the next one's going to have a white black background. Oh, I love it. The eyes turned out cute. Let's see so it's not distracted. I was worried. Because I put it in that little divot. Yeah, they're not perfect. Good enough. Cool. I'm going to go take some pictures and get this posted. These 3D stickers are just absolutely amazing. And then the doming effect that they get with the back of the frog just intensifies it. It's just came out. I'm going to be definitely doing some more. I don't just do pink. I know the last one I did pink as well. Um, this one's pink because the rose was pink. But here are just a few others that I have done in the last few months. And I think they came out equally as amazing. Um, some of these don't have the eyeballs. It was before I, I got my eyeballs in, but I'm also adding in the um, little tutorial, just a little snippet of how I embedded the eyes, if you're curious. Hey 
Hey guys, I wanted to show you on these little frog eyes, if you look in this mold, and hopefully you can see this, if I can get the right angle. All right, see this little divot right here? That's where the eye socket goes. Now you can put the eye in this hole. And I have, when I have the bigger eyeballs, I actually just put it inside this whole socket and it works. But these little bitty eyeballs, you need to go into this little socket right there. So I have my tiny little eyeball and I mark the back here. And because this eyeball is actually different this way, you see that? All right, and if I turn it, it's gonna look different, right? So I decided that I want my eyeballs to face this way. So I marked it with an, a line to go across for the, the slant, and then a line down for the direction I want it to go. And I already have this side in here So he is lined up, come on, and facing down. And I'm going to do that on the other side here. And you just put in your little, hopefully this stays focused, I apologize if it doesn't. And now I'm going to put my eyeball in here, make sure it goes in the socket. And then he's facing similar to that one. Oh, and see, I have it facing up. Now he's going to be down, because right now he's upside down. So as you can see there, I have them lined up close enough.